A pendulum is an example of translational motion, left to right, forward and backward. An elevator is an example of translational motion, up and down. There's a second type of motion called rotational motion. Examples of rotational motion are the planets orbiting the sun and the spinning blades of a wind turbine. A snowboarder's movements, like most movements in the physical world, are a combination of translational motion and rotational motion. The most familiar example of combined translational and rotational motion is a rolling wheel. The movement of atoms and molecules within a substance can be explained by translational motion. It's an important characteristic of molecular behavior and gives a substance its temperature. For example, as water is heated, the speed of the water molecule's translational motion increases. In fact, anything that can drastically change the temperature of a substance will change the speed of that substance's particles. When translational motion is used to describe the molecular behavior of a substance, it is sometimes referred to as kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Translational motion explains a lot about the nature of things. Not only does it give us a better understanding of motion, but it also teaches us that everything, even objects at rest, are constantly in motion. Now that you know more about translational motion, think about this. Name some examples of translational motion in everyday life. Think about it. 